Hello everybody, it's Patrick from Vicious Computers and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going over a new Steam Deck tutorial. Uh, we're actually going to be covering the number one requested thing so far from the first four videos in the series. I keep getting comments asking about the refresh rate locking for Windows. This is going to let you take your games and lock them down to 40 hertz and that can save you a lot of battery life and also depending on the game and how it's configured, it can give you better performance in that game not higher frame rates but it prevents the frame pacing from getting all crazy so that you get all these stutters if a game goes up to 60 then down to 40 then up to 50 then this will keep it from jumping up it'll just stay at 40 and gives you better performance now it's actually probably the easiest tutorial yet uh, it's really simple let's go ahead and just look at our resources that we need so go into your browser and of course these links will be in the description down below so you can find them there one of them we can get to, I lost my mouse cursor with four monitors. There you are. And you type in CRU custom refresh. It'll be the first result. It's a monitortest.com forum post. Uh, ToastyX posted it and it's a zip file you can download right here from the top. CRU 152zip at the time of this video. That's the only download you actually need. And this is a utility that lets you create custom basically EDID uh, information for your computer and it'll tell the operating system, hey, this monitor supports this refresh rate and this resolution. However, uh, somebody else went through the trouble of creating a bin file because that CRU program actually supports a import and export feature. So they created all the resolutions and refresh rates for you and put it in a bin file for you to download. So I'll have this link in the description as well. And because I don't know if this will be there forever, I'll probably also post a backup link to it uh, pointing to my personal OneDrive. So implementing this is, is fairly simple. Let's jump over to our uh, Steam Deck. I've already downloaded everything on here. <clears throat> Extract our zip file, download our bin file, go in here, run CRUEXE. And when you get in here for the first time, you're not going to see all of these resolutions. You're just going to see the ones that are already a part of the Steam Deck. So what you want to do, you can either add them manually, or the easiest thing to do is just go to Import. Import that bin file. Hit Open. It will add all of those custom resolutions and refresh rates to your computer, to your Steam Deck. Uh, hit OK. And at this point, restart your Steam Deck. You need to restart to get all these changes to take effect. And after you've booted back up and you've gotten back into Windows, this is how you actually use it. From your desktop, right click somewhere and go to Display Settings. Scroll down until you find the Advanced Display. From there, scroll down until you find your refresh rate. Right now it's currently set to 40. But you can see we have options for 60, 50, 48, 45, 40, etc. So we set it to 40 in this case. Then you're going to click on apply. And now you've locked down the Steam Deck to 40 hertz. Now let's go ahead and not just show how to do it, but the benefit of it. So let's kick off uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now some games have FPS limits built into them. You know, they'll say FPS cap, 60, 40, 50, whatever you want to set it to. And in those cases, you know, you don't necessarily need this, but a lot of games don't have that, but they almost all have V-Sync. And V-Sync will set the, the game to refresh and sync with your monitor. So if your monitor is only doing 40 hertz, it's going to cap the game at 40 frames per second. And that's essentially what we're going to do. So as you can see, right now we've got the overlays and we're locked at 40 frames per second. The two important things to look at during this short test is the second graph that shows your frame timing. That's the one we don't want to see jumping up and down too much. And then the last figure, which is our total system power. This is showing the real time draw of power from the battery, AKA how fast you're going to lose your battery life on your Steam Deck. So if I was to um, launch this benchmark, I'm just going to play the first section real quick. Let's go ahead and click on start benchmark. I know the first scene will go to like 70, 80 frames per second without locking it down. And so we want to look at our, our frame timing here, look at our 
system power and we're going to do a second test and compare it in just a moment. So in the scene, we're locked at 40 frames per second and we're using 13, 14, 15, it looks like about 16 watts of power. So that's, that's that. Let's go ahead and exit out. So 16 watts, remember that number. Let's go into the options. Let's go to display. Let's turn off VSync. All right. You can see even at the title screen, just the title screen we're using 20 watts of power now 21 watts of power because that frame rate has gone all the way up to 83 frames per second but let's see how it actually looks when we uh, kick off the game here all right so first scene now uncapped it's running in those 80 frames per second using 24, 25 watts of power. I think the Steam Deck caps out in my testing close to like 30 watts of power is about the highest I've had it. So you can see we're getting up to close to maxing out the power that we can draw from this, which is going to give us significantly shorter battery life. So today I just wanted to show you how to implement this and what the advantage is on your uh, power draw. Now the frame timing is a little bit harder to show because like in this scene here, it's so demanding that we've dropped down to under 30 frames per uh, second at parts of it. Uh, the ideal situation is to find a game, set your frame rate. I think 40 is a really good place to set it because it's fast enough that the gameplay is smooth and not so slow that it's crappy to play it like that. And then of course it's, going to give you significant savings over say 60 frames per second and it's a much more achievable result so say you pick 40 frames per second you want to go and tweak your game settings and try to get it so that it stays just above 40 frames per second all the time say 42 43 44 45 somewhere in that range and then clamp it down to 40 and if you do that it's going to stay at 40 frames per second constantly and your frame timing your frame pacing will be immaculate so that is the goal here is to get your settings just above where you cap your frames per second to give you the best performance. And by lowering your frame rate, you're going to save a significant amount of battery life. So I hope this video was helpful for everyone who was looking forward to this tutorial. And if you have any questions, make sure you ask them down below in the comment section. Uh, if you uh, subscribe, like the videos, it helps. I'm trying to get back into production. Uh, as you can see, just just now uh, from the last video. I've got some new lighting, so I'm investing in the studio, aka office, aka band room, aka server room, aka everything room, and um, I'll keep producing new content because I'm enjoying this. I, I love that I'm back in the seat here, and uh, I'll see everyone next time.